Yo, what's going on, man? It's your main man, Rick the Dawn. But in this case, I'm just Richie Rich. Hey, man, welcome to my show, The Becoming Richie Rich Show, where we talk about penny stocks and we try to figure out some of the nuances going on with a particular company. Uh, when everybody's super excited, we look at the fine print and figure out what's really going on. So welcome to the show. Don't forget, you can also listen to this episode on the Rick the Dawn podcast. Go check it out. <coughs> I'm so excited. <sighs> All right. And make sure you get, give your main man a five star rating because that just helps out things, you know, and also like this video. Here we go. Before we get started. <sighs> Thinking cap. Ah, there it is. All right, folks. Um, we'll be using Blue Space to conduct this analysis. And as you know, Blue Space is a really cool website. Check it out. We'll be heading over here to the Investing Blue Room where we'll do our grading, all right? And here's the stock we have today, um, even though Biosciences Incorporated. Now, if you wanna get in and get out of this video and don't wanna stay here and do all the fine print looking and all that kind of stuff, then here is your part right here, okay? If we look, we'll see that there was a huge peak at $1.61, which took place on December 29th, 2022. And then from that point, there was a huge downward slide. That's like a fun slide. And then it finally reached sea level, which I would call this little indicator here. And it looks like it is most comfortable at about 17 to 18 cents. And as of this morning or today, because the uh, time that I'm doing this review is 1121 a.m. on June 20th. So the market is alive and well. Um, it looks like right now the stock is trading at 18 cents. The big question is, would I buy into this company? based on what I'm looking at at this very moment. Let's see here, C-level. So basically what you're hoping for is that this company at some point will return back here. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say no, it's not gonna, no, 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 no. All right, there's some more stable ground here. Could it at least get to 83 cents? Could it get to, so this stock is a little different from others because I wanna know why it had these slides. These, these downward slopes. I want to know why, and I think that will help my uh, decision. However, if you're just asking me, hey, just make a decision, Rick. I, I got things to do. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's been here since March 28th. And the last time that it was doing anything noteworthy was March 2nd. I'm going to go, I would not put my money here. Ugh! It, it sucks to say it, but I probably wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't roll the dice and hope that this company returns to prominence. I just wouldn't do it uh, based on what I'm seeing. I love this. Don't get me wrong. I love this, but it looks like something that took place so long ago and it won't ever get back to that point. It's kind of like this is the, the guy or the lady who was really popular in high school. They were prime king, prime queen, and now they're 40 years old working at Wendy's or something like that. No, 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 uh, no, no, uh, no, no shade to Wendy's. I love Wendy's. I'm just saying that, yeah, could this happen? No. Probably not. <laughs> there, would, there would have to be some very supernatural things to take place for this person to get back to this prominence. That's based off of preliminary opinions. Now is when we dive in and find out if I'm right, right or wrong based off just my early projections. All right, here we go. First off, we'll take a look at the revenue. Okay, when I don't see revenue information here, it simply tells me that this company makes under $1 million in revenue. Not good. All right, market cap, 22.4 million, very low, even for a penny stock, believe it or not, very low. So right now I'm feeling like I made the right decision and not putting my money here, but we know it doesn't stop there. Let's keep looking. Okay, um, even though Biosciences Incorporated is a clinical stage biotechnology company, the company is focused on discovering and developing a class of oral medicines that act on immune cells and a small intestine with systematic effects. It has built a platform to discover and de uh, develop oral medicines which target the small intestinal axis. All right, that's a new word, syntax. It, uh, its product candidates are pharmaceutical preparations of single strains of uh, microbes or their extracellular vest. Okay, you got me. <laughs> you got me. Extracellular vesicles. Um, this product can okay a lot of technical uh, jargon there obviously they're in the pharmaceuticals healthcare biotechnology industry all right okay all right mm, not swayed one way or the other if nothing else there's such 
a small company working in such a small niche, you know, space that that kind of makes me nervous. Like what happens if your studies take 15, 20 years to develop to actually create this miracle medicine that you're working on? What, what if it takes 50 years? Right. This is not you just you know, that, that's what makes me a little nervous. All right. Now, looking at financials. Even though Biosciences Incorporated reported earnings results for the first quarter ended March 31st, 2023. For the first quarter, the company reported net loss was $25.34 million compared to $29.86 million a year ago. So they lost less money, but they still lost $25 million. A small company losing $25 million is just gravitational. Is that a word? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, man, that's not good. I'm, I'm going to... At this point, start to do the obvious. I'm going to drop this down to a B minus. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fair. Let me let me take my, my steps here. Okay, I'm going to at least remove it from my A. That's too much money lost for a company this small. And let's continue to look. First off, the return on investment is zero. I'm not sure if the company is so small that there's just no data on it or if the return on investment is actually zero, meaning that nobody really gains or loses. We'll find out though. I'm like the stock investigator. I, I, I blow past all the, you know, the, the hoopla and I look at the fine print and I'm like the stock lawyer. I should have changed my name to the stock lawyer. Now, uh, the industry PE ratio is 2.39. The company PE ratio is negative 0.12. Uh, my number is 25. I'm not liking either of these numbers, if I'm being completely honest with you. Okay. I'm not liking either one. And also we, we're seeing in live, you know, we're seeing live that uh, this stock price is just melting. It just went from 18 to 17. I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening here. There's a lot going on with this company, but obviously they do not offer dividends. So, you know, no surprise there. This is where I think it's going to, well, not this part, the next part, the technical analysis is where I think the stock might thrive because it might be a good stock to invest in, um, on an hourly basis, but we'll see. Okay. No revenue or forecast information. Again, what this tells me is not necessarily that this, uh, this is a bad company. This is not a indictment. However, what it tells me is that the company is still trying to find their way. You know, this is a young company. That's what it tells me. Um, when I look at things like this, and if you're a young company, what could also happen is that the stock, or I should say the company itself may not know how to raise their stock price from 18 cents to a dollar 60. Again, they just they don't have enough experience. They haven't done enough. So that's what makes me a little concerned when I look at this thing. But as I called it, I knew that this stock would probably do well on hourly trading. So according to technical analysis, the moving average is a strong buy and the technical indicator is a neutral. That's very rare for a penny stock to be a strong buy when I get to this portion of my investigation. And I knew that would happen because the stock price is so low, number one. And number two, there's a lot of volatility. So the right investors know how to manipulate that. So um, obviously somebody who's an investor like myself, we're not going to even touch this thing today because it's up 40, 50, 50% 50 today. 50, I saw it as high as 53%. I'm not touching this thing because that's a rookie mistake. You see a stock doing well, and then you try to jump on top of the crowd and then the crowd looks at you like, we're not supporting your weight and they move out the way and you fall flat. So if you got in this thing when it was 18 cent thinking that you got a bargain, uh, you're laughing, you're, you're probably looking at yourself kind of crazy in the mirror because now it's at 17 cents. And I'm going to go as far as to say this thing's going to drop even further. I mean, based on my, you know, my knowledge of the past and what I've seen over time. Now, of course, it can go to 29 cents. I'm not saying that's not a, that's not possible. What I'm saying is more than likely, you always have to go with the more than likely when it comes to investing. More than likely it's going to drop because that's what stocks do. They drop. I mean, you just have you have to be there to catch the spike. Um, it's like a wave. I'm a wave investor. You have to be there to catch the wave. But when you go to the beach, do you see the wave all the time? No, it's a glimpse in time. Right. And it's crazy, especially with penny stocks. Penny stocks are just just evil. Now, looking at daily trading. Still a buy. I'm actually surprised at that. I think the further I go through, I'm expecting this thing to keep going worse and worse. But it's still a buy. Here it is. Sell, strong sell. And it should be strong sell, strong sell. Good. OK, nothing out of the ordinary there. No reason to really change the grade. I think right now we're still pretty comfortable at um, a B plus. OK, pretty comfortable. Now, here's where I find out everything I would like to know, and that is looking at what the stock has done over the last 30 days or so. All right. The high is 31 cents. Really good. It's not a bad. That's not a bad high. And the lowest. Oh, my gosh. How is the low zero point? Goodness gracious. That's really low. Goodness. That's terrifying. OK. All right. All right. And the average is 12 cents. OK. 
So, yeah, I'm not touching this thing at um 17 cents. All right. Let me tell you where I would get in at, though. I would get in at 10 cents. Yeah, I would get in at 10 cents. Um, the, the average is 12 and the low is eight. I would get in at 10 cents. If I saw this thing trading at 10 cents at any point, I would probably get in. All right, so I'm gonna watch this thing uh, over time. But goodness gracious, I'm as as, as impressed I, as I am with the high. I'm even more impressed with the with the low. Well, not impressed. I'm shocked by the low. Um, so what that tells me is some weirdness has taken place over the last few days. Here's where all the weirdness begins. Uh, the the, the uh, company opens up that day at ten cents, where I would get in, and then just a lot of shenanigans take place. First off. Um, the next day, 10 cents. And then the next day they have a 15% drop, which is where that low comes from. There it is right there. That's uh, 0 0.8 low, eight cents low paid basically. And then, you know, as if that's not crazy enough, let's say you bought in on that day. You knew that, you know, you don't buy when it's spiking and up 53%. You buy when it's low and down, you know, 15%. That's when you buy, right? Um, so you get in at eight cents, then the next day you wake up, this thing has peaked and went all the way to 31 cents. That's where you make your money. Um, you know, you, you get in at eight cents and then you just kind of, you know, rub your beads together and you just kind of, you know, sing happy songs. And then the next day it jumps up to 30 cents and you sell. You don't hold on and hope it go to a dollar. You get in at eight cents, you sell at 30 cents and you get up out of there. That's how you do it. All right. And if you don't do that, here's what happens. You're sure you, you, you see the stock trading at 80, uh, 31 cents, sorry, 31 cents. And then the next day is back down to 18 cents. That's the stock market in a nutshell. You got in at eight cents. You saw it all the way up to 30 cents. You didn't sell because you thought it was going to go to 50. Rookie mistake. It drops down to 18. You lost a ton of money. The smart way, get in at eight to 10 cents, sell at 25 to 30 cents and let everybody else have the rest of the fun. Yeah, that's how I do it. All right, I'm gonna do just one thing because I just wanna see what happens here. I'm gonna go all the way to January 1st and just see how the stock has performed over the year. I'm expecting to see a lot of that craziness with the uh, $1.60 cents. And you remember that, right, from a long time ago. Again, here, here's that craziness, $1.65. The low was two cents, goodness gracious. How did it get that low and not get delisted? Goodness gracious, that's really, that's actually a positive that you were able to get from two cents to now trading at 18 cents. I don't know what's going on with this company. I don't know. It's just, it just makes me nervous. All right, the average is 48 cents, but that's over the entire year. All right, um, uh, I'm gonna drop this down to a B for the moment, okay? Now, I wanna take a look at their website because sometimes how they represent themselves can, very, can, can tell us some things as well. All right, didn't need to see that. I might have to blur that out. <laughs> I want to get them out of time. That looks disgusting. Why don't they put it on their, their main page? I love how everything is very succinct and how everything is flowing. I'm not even pressing anything. I'm just scrolling down and like a lot of amazing things are happening. All right. I'm telling you, I'm such a sucker for uh, these like these websites that have this kind of stuff. Look at that. Like, I'm such a child. Right? That's pretty awesome. I like that. I don't know where. Maybe all their money is going to their website. That's where all their revenue goes. They're putting a lot of money into these websites. Do you know how much it costs to make a website that look this polished and, you know, not break down in two days? Because websites, they're like an everlasting, you know, job. Okay, I'm not understanding what happened out at the very bottom. Like, from here, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Okay, that's the bottom. Oh, wow. It's like a dead space down here. Yeah, like, you might think, I'm like, when you look right here, I stop, I'm stopping. But the further I go down... Let me see. I'm, I'm still scrolling right now. You probably can't tell. All right. Oh, wow. Is that, okay. I'm, now I'm about to scroll back up. How long is this? Okay, there it is. Okay, so it looks like it's just like a little dead space down there, but not, not, a, not a huge indictment, obviously. Okay? Anyway, go to their website and just test that out if you like. Man, this is a beautiful website. Goodness gracious, this is a beautiful website. Okay, I'm just... I don't want to spend our time looking at their beautiful website. <laughs> My gosh. This is such a beautiful website. Goodness gracious. All right. Um, next, taking a look at the stock split history. According to this uh, source, there's been zero stock splits. According to my next source, zero stock splits. So that's a good sign. It just lets me know that the, uh, the company hasn't done the terrible stock split thing. Um, artificially getting their stock price above a dollar. I hate stock splits for that very reason. Reverse splits. I hate them all. They all they're all evil to me. Um, even so, let's take a look here. Some news. Uh, what makes Ivlo Biosciences Incorporated a new buy stock? Somebody thinks this is a buy stock. This is back in May. So, you know, you know, take a look at that. I'm not. I'm going to go off my own, my own uh, research. Let me see. Insiders added 575,000 
uh, stocks and to their holdings. Okay, so someone saw that news and said, "Well, if everybody else is doing it, I'll do it too." Terrible strategy. Uh, Evolo Biosciences, a topic dermatitis study cohort misses primary goal again. Again, you know, I said this before. How long will it take for them to actually uh, hit their marks and their goals? That's why this particular industry and sector is very difficult for me to invest in anymore. I used to. I used to buy, buy into it and invest in it until I found out it could take a long time for them to reach their goals. And all that time, investors are coming and going while you're holding the bag. Back. And upon this news, it dropped 32%. Okay, flagship back startup makes layoffs for second time in three months. So this is a fairly new company is what I'm starting to get the sense of. It's a very new company. Uh, they're doing layoffs. They're trying to stay afloat. They don't really have a lot of revenue. Mm. All right. In terms of sh uh, float percentage, short percentage float is 6%. 6% of investors are waiting on the sidelines for this thing to go bottoms up. And they're almost, um, they're almost at their goal. When I say that, I mean by it being... Remember, remember, not long ago, was trading at eight cents. So by it trading at eight cents, they were so close to their magnum opus, like their 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 conclusion. But they have to be a little nervous today because, or over the last few days, actually, when they saw it go up to thirty one cents, the shorts absolutely had to be nervous based off of that. Uh, and right now, the number stands at six percent. Not the best, not the worst. Keeping it moving. Um, wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. Do I make any changes? I'm still going to stay at a B right now. Okay, I'm going to stay at a B right now. Okay, um, this company, or I should say this website gives the company a C, and I can I can see why. Trust me, I can see why. All right, the company's share price uh, in relation to its net book value makes it look relatively cheap. It is cheap. At 18 cents, even at 18 cents, this stock is very cheap, and I'll know what I'm going to do as I look at a few more things. All right, for the past year, analysts covering the stock. Okay, got it. I got all that. I got all that. Okay, for the last few months, EPS revisions have remained quite promising. Okay, weaknesses over the past four months, analyst average price target has been revised downwards. Of course, we saw a slide down from $1.61 all the way down to 17 cents. So I would imagine that that makes a lot of sense personally. I, I get that. All right, the price targets of analysts who cover the stock uh, differ significantly. This implies difficulties in evaluating the company and its business. I have to agree. Okay, I have to agree. That is the first thing that I agree with as much as I do agree with it. Meaning that this company is very, very tricky. Um, on one hand, they're very new and you know you don't wanna rate them too harshly. On the other end, uh, other, on the other side of the spectrum, they dropped down to two cents, which is terrifying, but they've never had a stock split. Then they went to eight cents, which is not two cents, so it's it's a uh, project. It's, it's showing a positive tra uh, trajectory, and then it goes up to thirty cents, and then it drops back down to eighteen cents. What is going on with this company? I don't know where to start and where to stop. But I'm about to find out, though. I'm about to find out. Don't worry, I will find out. Now, I would say right off the bat, they were just trading above a dollar as uh, latest March second. Is that right? Is that the accurate number? March second or something to that effect. Let me go back for just a moment. I'm trying to figure out at what point did they stop trading at a dollar? I would say about right here. So that's February 1st. Uh-huh. Okay. So if they stop trading at a dollar on February 1st, that means that the stock, the stock exchange will at some point begin to knock on their door right around this time frame. All right. And from this time frame, they will have six months to get above a dollar. And I don't see that as possible. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to go down to B minus because it just I just mapped it out of my brain. Right around now is when they'll probably receive a, uh, a letter from the exchange. And then they'll have six months from right now to, um, you know, get their stock price above a dollar. I have seen nothing here that shows me they will have that ability to do so. I've seen nothing to tell me that, which means they won't do it which means they'll probably be forced to do a stock split. Now, I'm doing these things here in, on June 20th. If you're watching this in September, November, next year, June 20th, because this video is not going anywhere. It's going to be up forever. Okay, and you're watching it then. Let me know if I was right or wrong about that, that this stock com or this, this, um, this company will not be able to uh, stave off the whole over-the-counter over the situation. They're, they're going to have to do a stock split. And long story short, let me know if I was right about that. The company has to do a stock split in order to 
um, get their affairs in, in order and stay on the exchange. I don't see th there being any other. Wait a minute. There it is right there. OK, there it is right here. I didn't I didn't see that, by the way. But now I now I see it. So as I kind of pointed out, and it doesn't it doesn't feel as cool now that, you know, it's, it's, it's been on my I didn't even look down. But the point is, I knew that the notice would come out around this time frame. I was thinking that they might have been able to eke out to June. Um, but it looks like the exchange has already done the work for investors, meaning they see a company that's just not performing well enough to be on the exchange and they've already sent out the notice. OK, the notice went out um, in May. What was that? What was this? May 1st. I believe this notice came out. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. All right. And let's see here. They have 180 days from May 1st. Right. And that will take you to October 23rd. OK, there, there it is. I don't think that this company will be able to reverse their situation before October 23rd, 2023. OK, I just don't see it as possible. I'm going to drop it down to a C plus because I don't see it as possible. If I'm wrong, be the first one to let me know in the comment section because I just don't see it. I think come October 23rd, it'll either have already been, uh, you know, there, there would have already been a reverse split. I think that this company is going to do a reverse split before October 23rd because they may already know that they can't get above a dollar organically. So they're going to do a reverse split. They're going to dilute their shareholders and stockholders, and they're going to manufacture that dollar stock price. And then I believe it's going to drop down again. And by the time we see this thing in October, it'll be trading at about 43 cents. But that's after a reverse split. I don't think it's going to get to 43 cents and stay there organically. I think it's going to do a reverse split probably sometime in September. And then from that stock split, it's going to uh, get above a dollar. Obviously, it's going to trend up just a little bit to about maybe a dollar twenty five. And then by the time October rolls around, you know, check my math on this. It, it should have dropped down between 43 cents and 98 cents somewhere in that that space. OK, that's just my 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 opinion of course it's not factual uh not on june 20th is not factual all right here it is risk analysis has less than one year of cash runway we know uh highly volatile share price makes less than a million dollars in revenue we know all right uh negative shareholders equity a lot of bad here man i'm gonna go with c now listen <clears throat> let me tell you something sometimes all these negative things can be a positive all right because everybody's seeing the same things we're seeing and what they're doing is they're selling off and they're selling off and they're selling off and selling, selling their shares. And then that's when people like us come in and say, wait a minute, these are all true indicators of a failing company. However, however, did you not see how beautiful this website is? You know, what I'm saying something silly like that. And then they're like, you know what? I believe in this company. I mean, even though they got this nasty leg scab, I believe in this company and I'm going to take a, a risk. If the stock market was as simple as this company does good, put money there. This company does bad, put money there. If it was that simple, everyone would be rich, right? But there's a reason why people hit big when it comes to these stocks because they find something that most people miss or they simply take a chance. So is there a chance? Yes, there's a chance here for something somehow, sometime, somewhere. I'm not about to take the chance. That's what I'm telling you, okay? All right. All right. So next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at stock twists and look at the behaviors of individuals who've already invested in Evolo Biosciences. And I'm going to do that by checking out stock twists. If you'd like to follow me on stock twists, hit me up. The Ray Charles, you know what it is, man. You already know what it is. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at Evolo Biosciences investors. Wow. Okay. 55 new e uh, new posts since I came to this page and kind of just kind of let it load in the background. Um, so that's a lot of interest. Now, that is the one thing that makes this um, company interesting is the fact that they have a lot of value. And anytime you have a lot of value, you can have anything can happen. That were, that's like the great equalizer, if you will. Um, even if a company is doing terribly, value is the game changer. It can take this stock from 18 cents to 50 cents just because people are looking at it. They're talking about it. There's a lot of buzz around it. That's what makes this so difficult to read, okay? All right, so let's let's still take a look and see what people are saying. Started trading over four months ago and I lost $3,000. Now I've made over 177,000 profits after 
Oh, this is a freaking um after joining their uh, chat room and using their alerts. Okay, so someone's saying that uh, they've made some money. Um, I would like when when I see stuff like this, I can't confirm or deny what they're saying. Because I'm the kind of person that likes to use screenshots. So if I made 177,000, I'm gonna throw a screenshot just to prove it. So I can't I can't go left or right on this particular statement here. Not to say that it's you know it's false. He could be telling the absolute truth, but I'm not gonna risk my money on that that particular comment. All right, did not hold. Um, Lucy did not hold. Evil would be next. Evil if the Bulls had any brains in here, they would be on VCIG. Oh my, it's a $9 company. I don't know if they're going to go from an eight, eight, cents, 8 cents company to a $9 company because, you know, they, they may not have the money to do that. All right, so this person is double bottom. Somebody let me know what that means. I always have somebody who lets me know what these little uh, these little words mean. I don't know what double bottom mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to look that one up. All right. Oh, well, don't fall for the bull crap. They're running out of cash. We saw that. We know that. OK. And by the way, shout out to all the people who are, ha have already liked the video. Shout out to all the people who made a little comment. Uh, you guys are the ones like well, the reason why I keep doing these. All right, here it is. Just effing let it drop, guys. Blow out the trail stops. That's what these guys do. OK. Someone saying a lot of bearish talk over here. A lot of bearish talk. A lot of people who don't believe in the company. It's what I'm starting to see. I mean, I guess they did call it out. Um and this is a very tight community because their language is not like fully fleshed out, which means they're so common. They've talked with each other so much about these things and they, they, they use their own, they're almost their own language. Like, I don't even know what this means. I mean, I guess they did call it out. X, uh, that's a laugh emoji, whatever it is. Oops. OK, maybe they're re referring to a Reddit post, by the way. Maybe that's what that is. Uh, yes, 14 cents. This person uh, is happy about 14 cents. Did it drop to 14? No, it says 17 cents still. OK. Um, let me see here. Should pick up. Somebody is trying to uh, wager whether or not they should buy in. I, I don't, I don't think so. It's lost momentum. Exactly. That's the reason why I'm not touching this thing. We saw it trading at 18 cents just a moment ago, and as of today, what's the furthest that it got up? Let me see. I'm just curious. I forgot. Uh, it got as high as 25 cents, and now it's trading down to 18 cents. I think it had momentum, and the people who make made the money has have already made the money. And now, you, you, at this point, the money has been made. Um, the only thing you can do right now is take a risk. And I'm not saying that's a bad risk. I mean, it, it could pay off for you. Um, I need somebody to, to do me a small favor if you don't mind. I don't have a Reddit account. Can someone, once this video comes out, copy this video and drop it into Reddit for me? I never had anybody do that for me. I appreciate that if you can do that for me. If you have a Reddit, throw this over there for me. I appreciate that. Now, uh, the last thing I would like to do is I'm going to... Just play around with some numbers here. So let's say that you bought in at 18 cents, okay? And let's say that it dropped down to its low, or I say eight cents. I believe the low was two cents in one case. But let's say it drops down to eight cents. How much money do you lose? You buy in at 900 and you lose $500 of that 900. Not a terrible loss, um, depending on you know your situation. But on the flip side, let's say that this stock were to get back to a dollar which I don't see it happen, but let's say it happened. You buy in at $900 and you would stand to make $4,100 of profit. Okay, not bad, not bad. And let's see what happens if it get, got back to prominence at $1.60. <clears throat> you would buy in at 900 and you would make a profit of $7,100, not bad. Again, I don't see it. At worst, I think that this company is gonna go over the counter and not do so well there. At best, I think this company will make it to about 43 to 98 cents. I'll even go as far as 50 cents. This is about as far as I think this company can uh, grant you in terms of money. OK, if you buy in a 900, the best I think you can expect is this here. OK, to, uh, to make sixteen hundred dollars. That's if things go according to, uh, you know, if, if things go perfectly, if things go perfectly, I think that's about where you would uh, make your, your bones right there. I don't think this company is going to last too long. And that's not me being negative. I'm just basing it off of the obvious. I I don't think so. All right. Um, I'm going to go just one more notch down. I still think there's a glimmer of hope. And I just think it depends on how things play out. A glimmer. And I do mean a glimmer. But I don't think there's a lot here. And uh, I'm not going to roll the dice and see. But if you are, please let me know. Oh, man. So I'm going to go with C-. minus. Let's go ahead and let's lock that in. All right, so that is my 
my opinion of what this stock has to offer. Some good stuff there, but a lot of a lot of questions, and it's very difficult to um, you know gain a true answer here. And if you're going to invest in it, let me know why. Sometimes I have people get so upset with me when I do these because they've already invested in it or they see something that I just don't see. I think they have this passion for the company, whereas I don't really deal in passion. I deal in numbers and facts and statistics and stuff like that. Um, I don't want my, my feelings to get in the way of making a sound decision. So I, I do see some people get upset in the comment section. But, you know, I'm, I'm just here to help. Uh, you know, I don't have I'm not getting paid by any of these companies, so I don't have any reason to you know, fudge anything, fudge any numbers or give any false whatevers. So, uh, yeah. And the last thing, again, if anybody has a Reddit account, if you could do me a small favor and copy this video into one of those Reddit for forums or chat rooms and uh, so that those people can see this. I think this is going to be very, very important, especially when you consider how much interest is around this company. Look at this. 62 posts since I even, you know, since I logged on about 30 or 40 minutes ago. So anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace.